Kigezi as such really is the result of um, nomenclature by Bazungu. Uganda was described by Winston Churchill as the Pearl of Africa. And if Uganda is the Pearl of Africa, clearly as it should be, then Kigezi is the Pearl of Uganda. In fact, travelers who come to Uganda and so many other Ugandans have described this place as the Switzerland of Africa. If you talk of Kigezi, we are, we are different groupings. Rujumbra, that's where the, the Bahoro were mainly, and Iksoro, Bafumbira, Kabale. mainly Bachiga. And the smallest group among them are the Batwa. and there was no king as such. The Bachiga, uh, I, I think they have always been Republicans. <laughs> in some of these other places, they say every Mchiga is a king in their home. There was some um, resistance. There are people who opposed these people, the colonialists. Makowere, who was now uh, the Omukama of uh, of Rujumbura, he resisted them. The most famous person I can mention for this story is uh, my great-grandfather called Katuleje. He fiercely fought not only the colonialists and their, uh, their, their collaborators. Three of them who were in the, can in the canoe, uh, a Berujiam and two Baganda. He shot using bow and arrow and killed them. Moons I talked about. This queen uh, mobilized the whole of Kigezi Rwanda to, to rebel. So that rebellion of Muhumza, it is popularly known as Nyabinji Rebellion. She was a Mnyarwanda. She was the wife of uh, Rua Wujiri. She's the first one in Uganda to mobilize ethnic groups to rally behind her for that cause of resisting patriarchy colonialism, which was German, British, and Belgian.